What's up everybody, it's Jamie here from Shopify Masterclass and today we're gonna to cover how you can grow your email list for your Shopify store. This is extremely important because it will allow you to capitalize on that traffic you've already paid for. So when customers come to your website, instead of just clicking, maybe not buying and leaving, they'll be entering your email and this gives you the opportunity to contact them right after they leave in the future through mediums such as broadcasts or flows you might generate through something like Klaviyo. So it's recommended that you collect these emails so you can contact your customers in the future. Email has been a staple of e-commerce stores for a long time as it's something they can own. Whereas if you're on Facebook, if you're on Instagram, you don't really own your followers or the messenger contacts because Instagram or Facebook can take those away anytime. Whereas if you have those emails, you can contact them on your own term and nobody can take that list away from you. The only time is when customers unsubscribe or their emails do not work anymore. But for the time being, those shouldn't be the case as you can collect valid emails from customers through the ways I'm gonna recommend in this video. But before we get into it, I just wanna quickly thank our sponsor. Discover ProfitCalc, the affordable and easy to set up Shopify app that crunches your numbers in just one click. It automatically syncs with all your accounts and expenses to calculate your profit, displaying everything in an easy to read dashboard so you understand your business in real time. Start for free on the Shopify App Store today. In this video, we're gonna cover five ways in which you can collect emails for your Shopify store to grow your email list. The first way we're gonna recommend is just to have a generic pop-up on your website so customers, when they come in, can see it and maybe subscribe. This example in front of me here is subscribe to the newsletter. You can stay up to date, maybe on all the new releases for this site. The second method to grow your email list is an enhancement of the previous one. It's where you offer an exchange for someone's email, a discount code to your website. This example from Barley is that you get to keep in touch and you get 15% off your next purchase if you enter your email. This method is good because it incentivizes the customer to leave their email besides just getting new updates from the Shopify store. The third way to collect emails is to announce a contest and have users exchange their emails for an entry into the contest. This can be a good way to grow your email list as it creates incentives for customers to enter their email as you could potentially win something, not just a discount code, but an actual free product. An even better way to do this would be not just their email, but allow them to share this message across different social media platforms or for other friends through email, and that can increase their chance of winning the product. This can be really good for creating some kind of virality with this contest and expand your reach overall. The fourth way to grow your email list on your Shopify store is to gamify the email experience when customers are entering it. An example in front of me here is Wheelio, and it's a Shopify app which gamifies the experience. So what the customer does is they enter in their email and they have to spin their win to get a discount code. This gamifies the experience and makes it more exciting for a customer to enter their email in exchange for just a 10% off coupon code. Because as you can see on the left here, they could win more coupon codes than just the standard 10% off. And this can be enticing for the customer. The fifth way we have here to grow your email list is to offer an informational product for free in exchange for your email. This example is an ebook template. And with this, with your full name, your email, maybe some more information, the user can get an ebook template for free from the company. For your store, this could really relate around using your products. For example, if you sold high-end barbecues, you can include a free barbecue guide on the best way to create certain dishes for the summer. This can be included with someone exchanging their email, which can be a really good way to collect emails as if you know the customer is visiting your site for barbecues, they're definitely interested in cooking good products for the summer. Overall, these are five ways in which you can grow your email list for your Shopify store. The first one's to add just a generic pop-up. The second one is to offer a discount code in exchange for an email. The third one is to hold a contest or giveaway in exchange for your email. The fourth one is to gamify the experience with an app such as Wheelio to make it more exciting to enter their email. And the fifth one is to give something away for free. This is the most easily done with an informational product centered around the products you sell in your Shopify store. If you like this video, I'd love if you smash that like button below. If you have any questions, leave a comment. If you haven't yet, please subscribe as it really helps the channel out. Thank you for watching.